There's a bomb plant on the hillside. There's a bomb plant on the hillside. There's a bomb plant making out a boss. Boss filled with plutonium. Plutonium is insane. They're tactical and strategic ones. Your choice of megatons and they're all filled with plutonium. And they all kill. After years of citizen protest, the FBI and the Environmental Protection Agency raided the Rocky Flats nuclear weapons plant, just south of Boulder, Colorado. Inside, they discovered violations of federal anti-pollution laws, enough to end production. And in 1992, former President George H.W. Bush announced the end to nuclear proliferation. Tonight, I can tell you of dramatic changes in our strategic nuclear force. These are actions we are taking on our own because they are the right thing to do. We will, we will cancel the small ICBM program. We will cease production of new warheads for our sea-based ballistic missiles. We will stop all new production of the Peacekeeper missile. And we will not purchase any more advanced cruise missiles. What lay ahead was a $7 billion deconstruction and detoxification of the property at Colorado's Rocky Flats, which for half a century was home to a nuclear weapons plant. The project would be the world's largest nuclear site remediation in history. More than 800 buildings and structures, 13 metric tons of plutonium, and some of the most hazardous materials known to man, including uranium, americium, beryllium, dioxin, and carbon tetrachloride. As a radiation monitor at the plant in the late 70s and up until they closed, Norman Warling saw all the operations, and also occasional acid leaks in the pipes. We dealt with a lot of acids. We had acid spills constantly. There was one time I was walking along and I felt something drip on my head. And I thought, what was that? took my probe and put it on my hair and it went <laughs> infinity. And then I felt another drop hit on my shoulder. And I looked up and there was a plutonium nitrate line leaking right above me. So I lost my hair, part of it. They had to shave it? Yeah. Once it gets in hair, it can't get out. It wasn't in your scalp though? Did they have to scrub your scalp? Yeah, they scrubbed too? the scalp, but they had to cut the hair. And then the one on the shoulder, they got that scrubbed down to where it was nothing. Many workers at the plant suffer from various ailments that may or may not be connected to their jobs at Rocky Flats. Those who suffered from beryllium exposure were compensated early on, but others had to wait until the Energy Employees Occupational Illness Compensation Program began in 2001. Still, many former employees are left off that list. Finally, in 2006, the Department of Energy declared the cleanup as complete. 1,300 acres, the worst of the contaminated area, are off-limits to visitors, to remain under long-term surveillance and maintenance. And the other 4,000 acres became a wildlife refuge, where mule deer, and eventually humans, will have some open space. But some former employees suggest staying out of the area. There's stuff buried out there that would scare me. I would never go out on that plant site now. Meanwhile, regulations on the traces of plutonium allowed at the current site only go six feet deep. From zero to three feet below the surface, only 50 picocuries of plutonium per gram of soil are allowed. From three to six feet below, 20 times that amount is allowed. And below that, there are no regulations. At the Rocky Flats nuclear weapons plant, a large part of the operation took place underground to avoid possible nuclear attacks and also the public eye. Today, much has been revealed about what really happened at Rocky Flats. Still, much remains unknown.